everybody, this is Ryan uh, from the Backgammon 316 uh, channel. To be honest, I have no idea why I named it that. I just like playing Backgammon when I can. I thought 316 was just a nice little <laughs> homage to scripture and at the same time with something else that I love, which is uh, playing Backgammon. Well, anyways, I wanted to give you guys an update on how I have now updated my Grant Horner Bible reading plan. Um, a few months ago, I posted some, I posted one video on how I do the plan, and since that time, I have updated uh, how I actually use the plan now. And I just wanted to show it to you guys so you could get a feel for uh, maybe some uh, tips and tricks on how to do the Grant Horner plan, because I know it could be very intimidating, but at the same time, uh, it's so beneficial, and it really can change your your life and uh, um, it, it really has had a huge impact on me when when there are moments when I have I have sinned or I'm tempted to sin I could remember actual parts of my Bible that can either uh, bring conviction or bring about uh, repentance in my life or at the same time help me to meditate on God when I'm going through those rough moments uh, in my life so I just wanted to share with you guys how I've updated the plan. So I'll go ahead and just start off with how, I, um, how I've updated the bookmarking system of the Bible. So as you know, if you, or maybe you don't know, if you use Dr. Grant Horner's uh, reading plan, what he recommends is that you read 10 chapters of the Bible a day. And uh, if you find his plan, you'll see that he also provides uh, little bookmarks you could put in there. These are not the bookmarks that he has. These are new ones that I found on the internet. Um, I came to realize that even though his bookmarks were really good, he didn't have numbers at the top, which were kind of hard to see <laughs> when you were uh, looking for where you need to go next. So when you begin this plan, you always begin with chapter one and uh, you would uh, go to the book that you're uh, having to read through that day, and you read one chapter from that book. So today, I just finished Mark, uh, the, the, the very interesting chapter of Mark 16, which has that uh, interesting ending uh, at the end of it. Um, and now I finished that, and now I move my new tab over here to Luke chapter one, or my bookmark. And to help keep track of the actual chapters, what I used to do was I would take one of these tabs and I would have it on the outside. Well, I came to realize that those tabs flipping out of my Bible were kind of getting in the way when I would pack my Bible or take it somewhere and they get snagged on something. So I thought to myself, well, if I have the bookmarks, I could always just flip to the bookmarks and I could have the tab more inward on the page and I could see where I need to go. So for left hand side of the page, I always put like the tab facing out to the left. And if it's like a chapter number, like let's say there was chapter two right here, all I would do is I would just move this tab and I would put it in the middle over two here. So it let me know, hey, this is your next chapter. I wouldn't put it right out here on the side because then I would think I'm somewhere over here. I like putting it with the actual chapter uh, itself, just like this and vice versa for the other side. If there's a, a chapter number, let's go to the page that actually has it. Oh, they're all on the left. If I had a chapter number at like chapter four here, I would just bring the tab right here, right next to this uh, this middle paragraph here, and then I would let myself know, hey, you're on this chapter. But hey, we're all human, we all make mistakes. Sometimes I forget to move a tab over. That rarely happens, but sometimes it does. And so I thought to myself, what's another way that I could keep myself updated on this plan without just having to refer to the tabs in my Bible? And so I did some search on the internet and I found this right here. Uh, yeah, I'll just show it to you like this. This is the actual Grant Horner Bible reading program that somebody went through and, and put on like an Excel sheet or something. I don't know who did this, but whoever did this, you're the bomb, man. This is a lot of work, I bet, <laughs> to do this. And uh, it basically what it does is it keeps the lists or the chapters all in order at the top so list number one we'll just scroll down to what we got right here what do you know luke chapter one 
Luke chapter 1. So if I was to read Luke chapter 1 today, what I would do is when I was done, I'd take that tab and move it over to Luke chapter 2 and my bookmark as well. And then I would come over here to this uh, uh, grid that I now have saved and I would mark off, boom, Luke chapter 1. Luke 1's all done. And then I go to my second list, Numbers chapter 17. And uh, same thing. I know where Numbers is. It's way in the front. And I also, because I've been doing this plan in this Bible for so long, I just know where everything is and I'm just so used to it. What do you know? There it is, number 17. I'll read number 17, move my tab over to numbers 18. And I still have a ways to go on this list. I have Deuteronomy next, so that's gonna be a while. I gotta finish this book first. So um, yeah, move my tab over to numbers 18. Come over here, boom, number 17, all done. And then go to Ephesians 5, 1 Thessalonians 4, Job, and so on, and so on. So right now, the lists that I'm trying to complete right now are list number two and list number uh, eight and nine. Because I pretty much read through all the other lists except for uh, two and eight and nine because those are longer sections of scripture or genres of scripture that take a little more time. But what I do know is that when I get to pay to... Uh, day number 250, I will be done with uh, the longest list, which will be list number uh, nine. So once I'm done with that, that's it. I'll start all over and be back in Isaiah. And so that's how I'll know when I've read through the entire Bible at that time. So let me show you how I'm now cataloged the whole Bi Bible reading plan. Um, first off, I made myself a, a binder. <laughs> I went to the store, got a cheap binder, nothing nothing fancy. And what I did was, is I decided, because he always mentions how you should go, Dr. Horner always mentions how you need to go back and reread the instructions for the purpose and how to use his uh, Bible reading system. I decided to take his stuff and put it into um, uh, these sheet protectors. I had the actual pages, but my son, he keeps coming by and he would rip these out. He would rip out the pages and stuff. So I decided to just put it inside of a, a sheet protector to make it more permanent. And because I'll go back to it to understand how the system works and everything. And again, you can always look this up on the internet to understand uh, how the plan works and things like that. But this is more of an update on how I'm doing the plan. This isn't really much a how-to. I've kind of explained that in my previous videos. Um, so yeah, what I also did was, is I have two other pages for bookmarkers because these bookmarkers, I don't have laminated. I may get these laminated, but in case I ever lose one or uh, it gets torn or something like that, I always have an extra set in here. And I even, just to be funny, I have my old bookmarks that I used to have in here, like the ones that he provided that are laminated, and I wrote the numbers on them. Uh, so I have extras in there just in case. So yeah, it's the whole how-to for the Bible uh, plan. And then the actual plan itself. I printed this out, and uh, I kind of got tired of doing the old... Uh, paper and pen routine where I would shove a piece of paper in my Bible and just mark off with these ugly hash marks. And I thought I needed something a little more organized because I'm that kind of guy. So whenever I finish a page, I take it off. Here's an example of my son ripping it <laughs> right there. Uh, I take the page off the actual rings and I put it in the sheet protector so I could store it for good. And that's what I did. So this is how the plan has been going for a while. And it's been great. I really love this plan. I think it's really worth it. And uh, you guys should really take a look at Dr. Grant Horner's Bible reading plan. Uh, this is just how I do it. This is how I keep track with my list and everything. And I keep it in a binder, a very uh, a thin binder. And I have a little something on the front of the binder for me so I could find it. Um, and just know, hey, that's my binder. That's my Bible reading plan binder. I take this binder everywhere along with my Bible 
uh, right here. And sometimes if I find a verse that's really interesting or that the Lord is just using to, to speak into my life, uh, whether it's encouraging or or just convicting, whatever the case may be, sometimes I take a little uh, notepad over here and I'll write the verse down in that version. So that is it. That is how I do my Grant Horner uh, Bible reading plan. Um, just wanted to give you an update on how that works and how I've uh, changed. It is definitely wearing my Bible out. <laughs> this Bible is getting a heck of a workout. The top grain leather for this is holding up and uh, the, the gilding is starting to go just a little bit. It's getting more scratched up. You could definitely tell if you you hold it like uh, that it's it's and that's just within a few months here of doing this plan so it's uh but that's great your bible should be used like that it's not the uh it's it's just it's a great plan is it the ultimate plan eh, i wouldn't say it's the end all be all but it certainly is a great plan to uh get into so you could understand god's word and just learn how to uh how to read scripture um, and how to apply it to your own life. And the more you know scripture, the more your life will change. And that's kind of one of the great things about this plan that I love. I've read through the book of Acts now, like, uh, let's see. So it's, uh, it's April right now. So five times, yeah, January, February, March, April, May, yeah, five times. And I'm fairly familiar with the book of Acts, not just because of my highlights and all, but because I've just read through it so many times. I know where almost everything is. And I'm sure within years, I mean, the whole book of Acts will almost be memorized in a way. So it's a great plan. Highly recommend that you check out uh, Dr. Grant Horner's uh, Bible reading plan. And if you can find this checklist online, and they, ha I left a website down there it's by evangelism.org or if you just type in grant horner reading plan checklist you will find this on the internet i hope this video will be a uh, be of a blessing to you and that uh, you'd be interested in trying out grant horner's plan it's uh, totally worth it and i can't recommend any other plan but this one hope you guys have a good day god bless